Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's presentation. It's Monday, February 10th, 2014, and I'm going to share with you the items that I've sold on eBay this weekend, and I have, um, I'm preparing to ship. I have about 11, 12 items, so let's get started. First item is <laughs> this lovely fox fur headband. I sold for $99.99, and it's going to Nebraska. So this would be perfect if we were going to the Olympics. So go Team USA, by the way. Meanwhile, this is going to Nebraska. It's a lovely fox headband made by Adriana Lindo, or Lindo, however you want to say it. And I thought it's funny because when I when I listed it, I listed it as a collar. <laughs> I thought it was a collar, and then after I did more research, I found out it's a lovely headband. Isn't it cool? Times like this, I I can't wear this in Florida, but it's going to Nebraska, and I'm sure it'll be well appreciated there. Okay, shipping was five dollars and ninety-eight cents. It was very lightweight, so I and it's free shipping. So I put it in this poly bag, and I included signature, delivery, confirmation, and I included insurance. So it's protected, and it's inexpensive to ship. I love the. I love the um, USPS. So, where are you going? Okay, cut. Okay, next item I sold for $45. Now, what do you think this is? That it could be worth $45. I had it up for quite a while, changed the price several times, and was happy to get rid of it now. We can move on. It is a cigar mold. So it's a way that people can make their own cigars, roll them up, put them in this little press, and... Ta-da, you have your own cigars. $45 going to Virginia. Okay, I didn't have a box for this, so I had to make my own. That's another shipping video segment. But I made my own box, and to keep the cost down, if I would have put it in a bigger box, it went up another pound, so it was worth it. It's going to Alexandria, Virginia, and it was like $9 and something to ship it. So parcel select in a recycled greenshippingrocks.com okay next item I sold is this lobster pot if you're from Massachusetts you might call it a lobster pot <laughs> and it's going to um, Reading Pennsylvania if you can see see yourself in there it's a beautiful stainless steel lobster pot okay this person paid uh, ten dollars shipping so the, if I went parcel select, it was going to cost me about $17. FedEx is costing me $12. So I, I don't personally prefer FedEx, but this item is not real fragile, but only the lid is. So I did double box it. I did extra protection, and it should be fine. So save a few bucks shipping FedEx. Now I just have to go drop it off at the local shop. I use uh, Going Postal. It's around the corner. I don't mind in this situation if I didn't have to go out, but I need to go to the store and get some coffee, so I don't mind. Okay, the next item I sold is this Ping golf bag. Now, you may remember if you watch my treasure hunting videos, I picked this up for $5 at the the boys, or yeah, it was a children's Little League um, fundraiser. So I paid $5 for it. What I didn't know is when I got home and spent more time searching it and investigating it, there was a hole, go figure, right on the side of it. But it is, it is kind of hidden. But I made sure I said that in my description. So I couldn't ask as much money as I wanted to ask on it. So I decided I just wanted to sell it cheap and get rid of it. I listed it for $29.99 and somebody bought it. So they paid $10 shipping. So now I got to package it the most economical way to uh, still make money. So it's too bad I didn't inspect it better. But another, you know, that's what happens when you're hurrying and you're, you're excited. You spot a ping, but it was a 
such is life. So let's package it up. Okay, if you've watched my shipping video on how to ship a golf bag, after you're done laughing your butt off, um, I ship this basically the same way, except this is a soft bag, and I put cardboard along the bottom, but I um, wrapped it in foam. I had a bunch of recycled foam, so I wrapped it all in foam, and then used garbage bags. So it's shipping parcel select for $11.32, and let's see, where's it going? It's going to Norman, Oklahoma. So Ping Golf Bag has a new home in Norman, Oklahoma. Okay, next item is this lovely Roy Kirkham Summer Garden mug. I sold it for $10. I accepted a best offer. And, it, um, and they paid $5 shipping. So I'm going to wrap it up. Okay, I boxed this up in my favorite shipping box for coffee mugs and glasses. I feel that it's the best way to ship them. And it's going to Longview, Texas to its new home. Okay, so Jimmy, what did you just sell? I heard your cha-ching. I sold two of these on the same day. And I've had them for, what, four weeks on auction. Yeah. Um, $29.99, I paid 50 cents. 50 cents. Twenty-nine. I've sold the other one as well. That's I've sold two hundred sixty dollars for a dollar. Sixty dollars you made. Cost me a dollar. Dollar. Nice. Hmm. Cha -ching. Okay, my next sale is very interesting because this person bought two items, and to combine shipping, so they bought this eight-track tape player for twenty dollars. I accepted a best offer because I just want it out of the house. And they also bought this lovely hummingbird ornament for $10. <laughs> so they spent $30. Interesting combo, right? So we got to box them up safely. Okay, now what do you got? I just sold them um, Dr. Beats. I bought five of them a couple months ago on the, the Daily Deal. On eBay. On eBay. And I just sold my third pair. Um, if I shipped them first class, it would cost me probably 250 But I'm going to put them in the priority box for $5, 510 Because I get free shipping. Uh, I mean, free insurance up to $100. So they're insured. So, for the extra, how much did you sell them for? Sold them for $75. With free shipping? With free shipping. Okay. And the thing is, that's a good idea when you put the extra couple of bucks, you get your satin it, you're doing them a favor by satin it priority mail. Plus, you're insured up to $100 for using priority mail. So, that extra couple of bucks, it's worth it. Perfect. Well, yeah, you with me there? <laughs> good, good job there, Jim. Oh, thank me. <laughs> okay, I put this in my other favorite priority mailbox, and it cost me seven fifty, and he paid ten dollars shipping. So it's going to Warner Roberts, Georgia. That was the eight track tape player and the hummingbird, and I double boxed everything. All right, what you got? Yeah, I got these here. I um. I went to the church a while back and I got, there was a box of them they wanted to get rid of, a brand new, sealed. There was a box of these and they wanted $5 for all of them and there was 28 in the box. $5 for all, 28 in a box. Yeah, and this is the and ninth. Made you sell? This is the ninth one I've sold. This person bought four for $51. Twelve ninety nine each and selling them for, and then um, this is the ninth I've sold. I've got nineteen left. And how much did you pay for them? Five dollars. Five dollars. For how many? Twenty eight. For twenty eight, and you've been selling them for how much? Well, the other ones went for more than this, but uh, I reduced <laughs> them down to twelve ninety nine, and this person just bought four. I've got nineteen left, so I've sold nine. Wow. And you bought them at a church sale? I did. Yeah, they wanted to get rid of them. Awesome. They're brand new. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> okay, I sold this one for $24.99. It's funny, this is a re-gift. A girl 
a lady brought me some stuff and um, that her family and people gave her for Christmas. <laughs> Excuse me. So she brought all over all her gifts, and I've been selling them on eBay. So it's a great way to product source is from gifts that people give you. So I sold it for twenty four ninety nine. They paid five dollars shipping, and it's going to California. Okay, it's going to Canyon County, California, and I actually I didn't have um, it wouldn't fit in the the plastic priority mail bag, so I had to use one of my own and then put the priority mail labels on it. So it worked out fine. Let's see what's next. Okay, next item I sold are these lovely gloves. They're genuine, 100% genuine leather. And I don't know what kind of fur they are. It didn't state, so I didn't know what to put. But they are so nice and they're so soft. $49.99 and they're going to California. Okay, I decided to put these in a flat rate envelope, $4.95. And they're going to El Sobrante, California. I hope I said that right. If I didn't, sorry. So they're ready to rock and roll. Okay, here we have a candlestick that I sold for $14.99. I was hoping it would de do more, but actually um, it has a lot of crazing on it. So I was lucky to get $14.99 for this. So let's box it up. Okay, I double boxed this. It's going to Moraga, California, and it was $8.99, and they paid $5, so I lost a few bucks on this one, but it's okay. Okay, this next item is an interesting one. You may remember in my treasure hunting video, I went to um, St. Mark's Church. It's the thrift store that's only open on Saturdays in Ocala, and I bought this for $2.00. Actually, I think it was less than that, but something like that. It was less, it was cheap. And I just sold it for $44. And 10% went to one of my favorite nonprofits with eBay Giving Works. And that is the shirt that I'm wearing, Empowered Youth, for their EY Streetwear. So I was pretty, pretty excited about that. Okay, it's shipping to Magdalena, New Mexico. Leather coat. Okay, the next item I sold were these pickle forks. I call them pickle forks. They've sold for $32.99. So this should be easy to ship. Okay, shipping at first class, and I insured it. It was only $3.68, and it's going to Cathedral City, California. Wait, a lot of California has been shopping with me lately. Okay, this last item and my favorite item sold for $100. And it's a Franklin Mint it's called Lazy Afternoon. And I paid a dollar for it. You may remember, um, if you watched the video from my treasure hunting, I bought this and another item. And the lady um, that I bought it from said that she was concerned because I told her I did eBay. And, she was afraid she was uh, losing money, but she didn't have time to, to sell it herself. So I said, well, what is your favorite nonprofit? And I'll donate it using eBay Giving Works. So she chose Hospice of Marion County, Florida. So 15% of this sale went to Hospice of Marion County, Florida. Compliments of the lady that had the yard sale. Okay, I'm going to have to go to the mail or to the postal place and buy a box. Oh, here comes the mail carrier. She's coming to pick up the stuff. Cat's watching for her. And we got a lot of stuff ready to go. Okay, that's it for today's shipping. Now I have to run down to, well, actually, I'm not done. I have to go to Going Postal. And we're going to go down there. And I'm actually going to buy a box to ship the, the horse picturing. Because I'm just, I'm not happy with the boxes that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a box. And then I'll have to ship it tomorrow. But it's going to Melbourne, Florida, the Space Coast, where my friend Pat lives. And I'll get that shipped tomorrow. But meanwhile, we're off to going postal. So thanks for following along on this week's edition of items I sold on eBay and shipped around the country. Till next time.